everyone this is my mushek and welcome to my sql tutorial series in our last video we learned how to fetch the data from the database and apply limit on the data so that we can get only the some specific number of records from the table instead of fetching all the records from the table and in this video we're going to learn how we can use wildcards wildcards are one of the most important feature of mysql uh, it allows us to search for any data it allows us to fetch the data based on some pattern okay so that pattern we have to provide inside the query then once we provide that pattern inside that query along with the like clause then mysql will search for that pattern inside the database so whichever record gets matched with the uh, provided pattern in the query only those records will get fetched from the database okay so all this we can uh, uh, achieve with the help of wildcards Okay, this kind of functionality is most widely used in searching for any records. Now, suppose you are having a text box and you are, and you want to write some uh, post name or any kind of uh, information on that text, and you want to fetch or retrieve the data that relates to that keyword that you have put inside that text box, then you have to use like or uh, wildcards uh, along with the like clause. Okay, so wildcards also uh, allows you to uh, build a search functionality in your application so whichever keyword or the pattern you will enter inside the text box and hit search then it will match for the pattern inside the database and whichever records will get uh, matched with the pattern those records will get retrieved or fetched or select from the database and it will return it to you okay so um so we'll in this video we'll just uh, try to see uh, how wildcards works or how we can use wildcards to get the selected data or the um, or those data which matches the pattern okay so here you can see i have written uh, like this was this is what i was talking about this is the pattern okay so you have to provide the pattern uh, inside single quote and then you have to write a percentage symbol and then the pattern and then again percentage symbol and then you need to close the, close the single quote okay so suppose here this is a table okay uh, for the test purpose, for just uh, a demo purpose, I have written um, seven records inside my table. But in real cases, you might be having thousands and lakhs of records in your table. So if you want to find a record who is having E, okay, if you want to find a name, all the names or all the first names which are having E in their first name, then how you will be able to get that, okay? So how you can... Um, fetch all the records which are having E as one of the letters in their F, uh, as their first name. So here you can see, uh, if I see, if I try to look at this table, this one, Michael is having E in their first name. And then, yeah, we are only, we are having only one record uh, who is having E inside their first name, okay. So now if I write a query like select star from uh, members, so here, select star from members where F name like or f name like single quote percent and e okay we are looking for those f names which, um, uh, which is having e in their first name okay so i will um, i kept e inside this uh, in, i have kept e as a pattern inside this uh, single quote and percent uh, symbol now it will return once i execute after putting a semicolon once i execute this uh, query i will get only one record which is this one first record okay so because because um, amongst all these records only first record is having e in their first name okay suppose uh, now this is this became the pattern okay for this i'll be matching okay suppose i want to search uh, for all those records who are having adit okay let's see percent adit okay and then Okay, now suppose I want to get all the details, get the details of all the um, all the students or the members who has ADIT in their uh, first name. Okay, so now if I look at this table, since I'm having only seven records in my table, if I try to see, uh, I'll get only two records uh, who are satisfying this pattern, who is satisfying this condition of ADIT. and T. Okay, you can see these two records are having this ADIT words in their F name. Okay, so once 
So if I change my query to this select star from members where F name like single quote percent A D I T percent single quote close and then semicolon. Then my SQL will return me these two records. Okay, because these two records satisfies the condition or the pattern. My uh, this pattern A D I T will get matched with only these two records. That's why I'll be getting these records. Uh, as a result uh, or as an output on my command line prompt okay so now suppose you are building suppose you are building an application who is having this text box and search and you will write and you are looking for a person or a member who is having a name called as Aditi okay you have written the name of the person and you hit search then it will return you this one okay it will return you the related these two records will get returned because uh, first second third and fourth letters of this pattern gets matched with the first four letters of both the records okay that's why you will be getting two records okay two records in uh, as a result okay so this is how we can uh, make use of wildcards to achieve functionalities like this Okay, so I hope you understood this while these wildcards are uh, will be very handy uh, whenever you are looking for some records um, which satisfies the pattern. Okay, when you enter some text and you want uh, that uh, that a keyword will return records from the database, then you can use uh, wildcards like this. Okay, so I hope you get an idea. I hope you get some useful information out of this video. Um, if you guys have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe to subscribe to our channel. And uh, those who have already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the bell icon. When um, if you click on the bell icon, then only you will be getting uh, the updates of my upcoming videos. Okay. So I will uh, once again I will uh, request you guys to subscribe my channel first, and then click on the uh, bell icon. And those who have already subscribed, but those who have not, click on the bell icon so i'll suggest you guys to uh, click on the bell icon so that you can get the updates of my upcoming videos okay so same statements or the whatever um, queries i have executed um, i have written on the board all those queries i'll be uh, running uh, on my sql command line prompt immediately once i complete this theory session okay so immediately after this uh, theory session i'll be seeing you guys in my practical session where I'll be executing all this MySQL uh, queries on MySQL command line prompt so that you will get a better idea what output all these uh, queries will going to return you okay so uh, I'll see you guys in my uh, practical session thanks for watching